Hey Sybils, we made it. We have been through so much together. We learned about dirt. We got sunburned during surveying. We learned more circle. We immediately forgot more circle and we finished off our degree during the onset of an unprecedented global pandemic. So we are finally entering the world as civil engineers and what a time to be doing so, am I right? Ugh. We are entering an uncertain economy that, for many, has affected immediate career opportunities. However, civil engineering has been around since the earliest societies and will continue to stay relevant unless humans stop needing things like water or buildings. And, like, I don't see that happening for quite some time. So, though it may be hard to see this at the moment, your futures are indeed bright, I promise. If you've been keeping up with the news recently, you've been seeing the worldwide Black Lives Matter movement. It has sparked conversations within many industries, from healthcare professionals to Instagram influencers, forcing them to examine their biases and understand how to do better. And as civil engineers, I think that we should be doing the same. Engineering projects, unfortunately, are complicit in past and present harm to marginalized groups particularly Black, Indigenous, and low-income communities. A lot of the time, the engineers responsible just think that they're doing the right thing. I mean, for example, when you look at the Georgia Viaduct in downtown Vancouver, you might see an innovative infrastructure project connecting the city to the suburbs. And this is a perspective you might share with the engineers who built it. However, you might not see the thriving Black community, Hogan's Alley, that was destroyed in the construction process and that is still never fully recovered. And while it's important to acknowledge these uncomfortable facts, I really do have hope in us as the next generation of engineers. We are so capable of doing great things, of uplifting communities and moving the ball forward. I think this will involve thinking critically about the projects we undertake, uh, being intentional and open-minded and empathetic, especially when communicating with stakeholders. We should be constantly examining our biases and thinking about how they affect the way we navigate not just our personal lives, but our professional lives as well. And so I believe that doing this will result in change for the better. Um, yeah, and so I'm really excited for us to be doing these big things. So congratulations, class of 2020. Go out there and make Nobo proud.